this video I'm going to address how we actually make solutions in the lab and how we dilute concentrated solutions so that we have a specific volume of a less concentrated solution. So um, we learned already how to calculate molarity or concentration, but let's now look at how we would make a solution. So it says, how would you prepare 400 milliliters of a 1.2 molar solution of sodium chloride? So we're going to start this problem by figuring out how many moles of sodium chloride do we need. Because in the lab, what we're going to do is we're going to measure out moles of sodium chloride, and we would measure it out in grams. So we have a 1.2 molar solution, so that's equal to the number of moles over liters, so 0.4 liters. And so if we solve that out, we know that we would need 0.48 moles of sodium chloride. Well, in the lab, we have a scale in order to measure grams, so we're going to then calculate number of grams. So we just do a moles to grams problem. So 0.48 moles of sodium chloride, I know that one mole is 58.5 grams. So we get that we actually need 28.1 grams of sodium chloride. So when we make the solution, what we would do is we'd measure out this sodium chloride and then we would add water until it, to it till it reaches a volume of 400 milliliters. And there I would have 0.48 moles in 400 milliliters, so I'd have a 1.2 molar solution. Now, when we want to dilute something, this is commonly what we would do if the solution was sold as a concentrated solution rather than as a powder. Most uh, ionic compounds are uh, sold as powders, and so we make up solutions like the last problem, but quite frequently acids, we buy very concentrated solutions and then we dilute them. So for example, our um, acid cabinet back there has like 16 molar hydrochloric acid and 18 molar um, uh, sulfuric acid. And so we would dilute those so that we have the concentration that is safe for us to use in the lab. So in order to do this, we're going to add water. So it would reduce the number of moles we have per unit volume. So you'd have a greater volume, the same number of moles. And so it would reduce the concentration. However, when we do this, re remember that the moles remains the same. So if we want to calculate a dilution, it's a very simple equation. And remember that these equations are all in your reference tables. So it's just molarity times volume equals molarity times volume, right? So M1 and V1 are the starting concentration and volume, and M2 and V2 are the final concentration of volume, what you have. So we're going to do this with very strong solutions, also called stock solutions. So let's do an example. So it says you have a stock solution of 16 molar hydrochloric acid, and you need 200 milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid. How would you make it? So we have molarity times volume is equal to molarity times volume. So this right here is my final molarity and my final volume. So I need 200 mil milliliters when all is said and done, and I need it to be one molar. And I start with 16 molar. So if I just solve this out, 1 times 200 divided by 16, and I get that I need 12 and a half, um, and that's, sorry, that should be um, milliliters here of, uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid. So what that means, what that volume means, is that I would measure out 12 and a half milliliters of concentrated acid, and I would add that to 187.5 milliliters of water, so overall at the end my total volume would be 200 milliliters. All right, let's do another example. So it says how many milliliters of 4 molar potassium iodide solution are needed to prepare 250 milliliters of a 0.76 molar potassium iodide solution. So again, we're going to start with a concentrated 4 molar. We're going to try and figure out what volume we need so that I can end up with 250 of uh, 0.76 molar. So I've got my initial molarity here in volume, and then the final molarity and the final volume. And um, so I would just multiply these here and divide by 4, and so I would get 47.5 milliliters. So that's how much I would actually need, and then I would add water to it until it was 250 milliliters, and then my solution would be 0.76 molar. All right, let's just do one more, and then I think you'll be ready to um, complete the dilution calculations on the test. 
So let's say you needed 250 milliliters of a 0.2 molar sodium chloride solution. How many milliliters of a 1 molar sodium chloride solution would you need? Again, MV equals MV. So you have 0 0.2 times 250 milliliters is equal to 1 times V. So I would just divide and I would get 50 milliliters. So again, a very simple calculation. Um, and hopefully now you can um, complete the uh, making dilutions and solutions worksheet.